what is going on everybody we are back if you remember in the last episode which was actually a couple weeks ago and i apologize for that the last episode we built our little storage area now i'm not a hundred percent sure if this is gonna be enough storage now i know like once we start getting into making these mondo mega projects that i have in mind we're going to need a lot more storage for things like stone, dirt, gravel, cobble, stuff like that. But for right now, this will work. We can do a bulk storage area when the time comes. Well, for right now, this episode, I need to get some villagers. Now, there is a village that way, about 600 blocks. So we are going to go steal a couple because we need to make... A villager breeder. So the first thing I want to do before we get the villager breeder going is I want to sleep. All right, now that we've slept, I want to get the actual structure of what the breeder is going to look like. So we've got a couple supplies here, but we don't have a lot. So we are going to have to go collect supplies. So I know we're going to need glass, we're going to need stone, and we're going to need a couple other things that I forgot. So going through our little storage area here, um, not really seeing, we've got a little bit of glass and we've got some sand. Actually, this, not even, no, it's not even going to be close. <laughs> That'll be that'll work for the bottom because the bottom is a, it's a three by three area and it's three high, so that's twenty seven. So this you know between this this will be enough, but I forgot we have to cover the top. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gather everything that I need to get this started, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back. Finally, have everything. This took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit, simply because of the stone. As you can see, I, I don't have silk touch. So I had to mine it as cobble, smelt it into stone, and then convert it. It was it was a fiasco. I ended up breaking one of my pickaxes to use my last three diamonds to make another one. So hopefully, in our next caving run, which I don't know when it'll be, we'll find more diamonds. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is this glass. We're going to make a little pen, so to speak, for, oops, too small. There we go. Now I left this out purposely and I'll explain why later. So now, put the glass back, we will get our oak. Two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we do this on all four sides. All right, now that we got our, our platform done, we need to work on the sides. <laughs> sides done here so actually let's just go up one here and then we just clean out and torch the top here so we get rid of these uh hold on get rid of these corner pieces so it's our torch up top So this is the basic structure. 
And basically what happens is they get bred up here, they fall down into the water streams, and they go down into the holding pen. So now that we got that done, we need to start working on the top. And the one thing I forgot was dirt. So this, see, this is where... Can't wait till I find bamboo somewhere. Alright, so we go in one, two, three, four, five. And in just because it'll look better, we are going to do this. And this not gonna look right. We'll have to do that with an above. This goes all the way across here. Alright, so we got our basic layout done here. Now we just need to go through and fill in the center part here. Alright, so now we cover the top here with dirt. And then this will go and make a nice square. All right, now we put a little wall outside. A nice little glass wall. So they can't get out. Glass, I'll have to go down and get more. Oh, I did bring more. I wasn't sure if I brought more glass or not. Okay. And I did bring a water bucket, but I didn't bring enough slabs. Alright, so now what we do. Take these four out and replace them with trap doors. And we need more stuff. So we'll just do that all the way around. So now what happens is the baby villagers run around and they get caught in here and they get sent down to the middle and then they grow up. So we have to get another slab for this. So now There we go. And then in each corner, we put the composter. And then the bed. Now, I've only, I only brought up four beds, so that's all I had the room for. So then, we'll make the other two beds and we'll get them up there. We plant.
All right. So we are almost done. The next thing that we need to do is we need to put some kind of ceiling on this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these and replace them with stone. All right, so now the only thing we got to do yet, I got to get the other couple beds and I got to put the ceiling on it. Get the water in and then we'll see about trying to find some villagers. So kind of skipped ahead a lot, <laughs> but I figure how many episodes of finding villagers and transporting villagers are there? There's a million. So why bore everybody with another video? So just off camera, I went ahead and did it. And let me tell you, it was not fun. Since I don't have rails, the way I had to do it was the beds and doors and moving the village trick. <laughs> and let me tell you, it took four hours to move four villagers, 450 blocks. Yeah, it was a, it was a nightmare. So, but it is all done. We now have villagers. We now have a breeder. So now this block is open because you put a rail here with a piece of power rail here. And you guys know how Minecraft works. It picks up the villagers and it transports them. So the next thing we're going to be working on, once we get a lot of villagers, is an iron farm. Now, this iron farm takes about 150 villagers, 150 beds, and 150 composters, or whatever profession, I guess you want to call it. But I think that the the composter, 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 I've been saying that wrong, haven't I? The composter? <laughs> I think that one's easiest to make because that's just wood. And we went and gathered, I didn't even use the spruce, but we went and gathered a bunch of wood for this, and then I ended up changing it. <laughs> so we still have a few stone slabs left, and by a few I mean three stacks, which isn't a lot. But we now have a working villager breeder. So yeah, next episode we're going to work on the iron farm. Now this is a little bit of a shorter episode, but this really wasn't that big of a project. Now the iron farm, on the other hand, while it's going to be easy to build, it's it's very simple. There's no redstone in it or anything. It's going to take a lot of resource gathering, and we are going to need at least 120 beds, which means we're going to need 360 pieces of wool and 360 pieces of wood, which is a lot. So we're going to have to get to planting our trees. We're going to have to start cutting them down and yeah, it's going to be fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. See you later.